Good morning everyone, Helena here with your shiny shove, that push, that prod, that nudge to help you have a really great day. And uh, yeah, yesterday was an odd one uh, because it was a day that was full of stops and starts and it really got me thinking about uh, what is your reset, how do you reset, you know, in the midst of up, down, up, down, shift, shift, context changing, moving about and still needing to get stuff done. I wondered what you do as a reset, as that whole kind of like, you know, when you've um, when you've cooked a meal and you want to wipe the counter down in order to just have it be back to normal, whatever that is. You know, we need to do the kitchen counter wipe inside ourselves before we move on to something else. When you're context switching or multitasking, which never really works, by the way, um, when you're context switching in that way, it's really useful to actually have something that brings you back home. Now, you know, sort of the, using a planner of some kind is a really good thing because you can just go back to whatever was on the list. Whatever distraction has got hold of you, you can let go of that and then allow yourself to move forward. So that's one way of doing it but sometimes physically getting up some of some of us might use the making of a cup of tea for the next task as a thing some of you might use the making of a, as a the making of a cup of tea that's quite hard to say the making of a cup of tea as the reset where you just sit for five minutes and actively drink that cup of tea. So we all do it differently, but having some varieties of your reset make mechanism is a really useful thing because it allows you to simply step away for a moment, clear your head for a moment, get your body ready, and then you can approach the next thing. Because so many of us kind of go from one thing to another, to another, to another, and that's kind of like, filling up a glass, a glass, a glass, a glass until it, morning, uh, how are you? Um, uh, it, it just allows us to kind of become so, so, so full that we don't actually know where we're going and it can create overwhelm, it can create um, an inability to think, it can actively create frustration and irritation and snappiness and all sorts of things. So, what's your reset how are you going to do it and it's really useful to find yourself four core resets one for your body so for me having my little mini trampoline i'm pointing over there like you can see it but having my little mini trampoline is a really good thing so what's your reset on a physical level what's your reset on, a, on an emotional level you know bringing something to mind having a photo that you absolutely love or for me this is my favorite question of the moment um that really emotionally gets me it gets me excited it allows me to to tap back into my creativity um, on a mental level you also need a reset so that might just be just sitting still even 20 or 30 seconds right and uh, I'm glad to hear that Lisa she's very well marvelous um, and then on a spiritual level you might actually go you know if you are feeling overwhelmed in some way it might be a question that you ask of your God, your universe, your your um, you know your environment, or it might even be like a little prayer, or maybe getting an oracle card out if that's your thing. Whatever it is, having something that resets you on one of those four levels means you've got a choice about how you reset from what you've been caught in. So I hope that's useful. Go and put it into practice or let me know what your practices are. I'm always on the lookout for some of those. So have a great, wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you next time. Many blessings. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to try and, and give that up. My mouse is not playing. Have a great, wonderful day.